In the nation's South Sea is a habitat of seahorses, which are endangered maritime creatures. Next, let's take a glimpse into the seahorse's reproductive process, where males, not females, give birth. And we'll also take a look into why the birth rate is relatively low among seahorses living near South Korean waters. This is Huando Island in Taduhe National Marine Park in the South Sea. Under the water at sunset, a seahorse, an international endangered marine creature, appears between the seaweed. This species is called Soan seahorse, as they live off the coast of Soando Island. A reclining Soan seahorse manages to move its waist. Newborns measuring a centimeter long come out at each twist. For seahorses, males, not females, deliver babies. Females lay eggs in small pouches in the males, which hatch them a month later. They give birth to no more than 70 babies at a time. The reproductive rate is excessively low compared to other seahorses that deliver 2,000 newborns at a time. They were designated as an endangered creature. The number of wild seahorses is continuing to drop as they are recklessly hunted for medicinal use. The Korea National Park Service is planning to make special efforts to protect and preserve these Huan seahorse with its low reproductive rate. Efforts include attaching indicative markers on them.